Today, we will explore the IUCN Red List, what it is, how it works, and why it is important. The IUCN Red List is an inventory of the conservation status of species around the world. It is managed by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The list assigns over 150,000 species into nine categories, that indicate how close a species is to becoming instinct, ranging from least concern, to extinct. And a species can also be uplisted or downlisted after careful assessment over a period of at least five years. Let's take a look at a few examples. The Brazilian Garayuba tree has been listed as extinct in the wild since 1998, but was relisted as endangered in 2021, after several specimens were discovered unexpectedly at the Rio de Janeiro Botanical Garden. Dugongs are large sea mammals that move slowly in shallow waters once mistakenly known as mermaids by sailors. They are currently classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. But researchers are recommending that the species be upgraded to endangered, because its population is too small to sustain. Tigers are a critically endangered species. The number of tigers roaming on Earth declined by 97% over the last century. Starting in 1973, the Indian government made efforts to conserve tigers, designating 53 tiger reserves, covering nearly 70,000 square kilometers. With those efforts, the country's wild tiger population has reached more than 3,000 in 2023, more than double compared to 2006. The IUCN Red List is like a barometer that helps to identify which species are at the greatest risk. The story of the Indian tiger is a sign of hope that species diversity can be preserved through human efforts. All living beings share the same earth and are connected. And protecting endangered species means protecting our own lives. You can visit the IUCN website and check out which species in your nearby area requires urgent conservation action.